Okay, main language, as you guys can see, is Spanish, and we have also English. But if you go there, make sure you have some survival Spanish language. Survival, like basic Spanish language, okay? English, it helps you, but also helps you Spanish. The same way for me in Russian. Spanish helps more than English, I think. <clears throat> yeah, but the, the still you can... Uh, actually, I don't know. We like foreigners, so we are very attentive. We are very helpful with them. So, if you need something, then even if we don't understand, we simulate... Even if people don't understand, like you're talking with them in English or in Russian or whatever, they will they will say yes, the and then they will help you. And, huh? The language of body. Yes, body language. You guys know that humans... Uh, can literally uh, speak to other person in the body which is 60% body language and 40% uh, words mm -hmm. which is very helpful That's, and, it, and it's very interesting how foreigners comes to let's say Colombia and then when they like one girl and you can see obviously how body language works okay because you know when you when you when you speak with the body language you don't need words and it's easier right so you can okay if you if you guys need if you guys uh, need help in this i can help you in the in the spanish one and also there is one there is, there is one really good app to learn language is called Duolingo. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Duolingo. You can download it in your <coughs> phone and you can learn. It depends. If you want to learn five minutes every day, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then so on. I was looking for the Russian one, but they're not, they, mm -hmm. it's not yet. It's coming soon. And population is, I guess, one third of the Russian population. Only 47, 47 million people. Approximately. Okay, which you guys, everybody knows which type, which flower is this one? Yeah. Anyone? Orchid. Orchid. Yes. <laughs> Where it says okay, orchid. It's our it's our national flower, okay. And um, Colombia is first in variety of orchids. Uh, has over fifty thousand species of flowers and various species of carnivorous plants uh, some of the genres and other genres okay Colombia is listed as one of the world's mega diverse countries hosting close to 10% of the world of the planets or world's diversity that means for people who like biology who like uh, nature or whatever they want to study, they can go there and discover or make a lot of researches. Actually, a lot of Germans go there to to go to a jungle and then they run their labs and their experiments. Uh, also, it's rank uh, it's ranks first in bird and orchid species uh, in diversity and second in plants, butterflies, freshwater fishes, and amphibians. So you can see it's very diverse. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, okay, for us, this is a waterfall and it's very common in our country to see it. Why? Because we have the tropical country. Mm -hmm. I am wondering where in Russia I can find, not in winter, not in winter, mm -hmm. but in... In the Yes, where? But in where I can find... Altai? Yes. I already crossed that city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... Maybe next time I come back, I, I'll see. So, um, I created seven points of what Colombia teaches me or taught me. And, and I want to share it with you guys. If you guys go there, you can feel this, you can explore this. <laughs> and maybe you can say, John, you're wrong. I want to say this one is false. Or you can add new ones which is very interesting also for me to know your point of view about my country. So the first one, it taught me to always be proud of my nation and be very 
patriotic. Whenever I wherever I go, I represent it to the best. Mm. Anyone in Russia is patriotic? Yeah. <laughs> now it's popular. Everybody. It's mainstream, you know. Huh? To be, now it's popular. It's like mainstream to be patriotic. Why? I don't know. Before now? Politics? Because of Putin? Yes. <laughs> but the norm. Okay, if Putin is not there. Normally. Oh no, no, Putin is our. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, in one of the in one of the interesting interviews I've, I've done to people, uh, one guy said he said that Putin is doing a great job because he's trying to build and getting back the countries from the SSR and. We are trying to become again the same size as before. Mm. So it's I don't know. He said that. I guess somehow he's true. Somehow things like Crimea, things that are looks that are true. But I don't know what other things he can he can he can get. Okay. Um, if if I go wherever I go, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know, we left mm, the Colombian flag in 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 St. Petersburg, but whenever I, I go to any new city or something and mo one monument, I'm always with the flag. <laughs> eh, I'm here, but and right now I'm doing it with the Russian, but I feel very really. I mean, I know I'm like in Russia, but I feel like. Uh, hypocrite because I'm like with the Russian but <laughs> I mean because it's not my I'm learning to love Russia I'm learning yeah. to love Russia uh, second be so perseverant and never give up in front of the adversities why um, in my country let's say that 65% um, of people are poor and not everyone has the chance to get into uh, after high school education. So they either work and they work to get into studies. And, and that's one of the ways you can, you can make your life there. Or you can start your own business and you can uh, grow in that way. <clears throat> so that's why I say, Starting your own business is perseverant because you are your own boss. You are the employee. You do. You need to do like normally you do for other companies. So never give up. Third, okay, you develop the skill of dancing with different genres of music. I guess uh, uh, even if you don't like dancing, you will you will dance there. <laughs> Uh, normally in, par in, in one normal celebration party or any festivity we have we, we, cannot, we cannot dance only one dance like example if, we, if I go to one club then I, I dance electronic music right and then with the lights and everything and then we play some three songs and then we jump into salsa right and then three yeah then three two or three songs of salsa and then we jump into another type of music which is merengue and then you dance like this okay? <laughs> and if, uh, if 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 that is not enough and then you want to uh, dance much more and then you can show your your techniques and your your movement you can dance reggaeton okay and then and so on so every if you go to a normal bar or club in in Bogota you will not only have one type of music you will have several so you can learn much more okay the fourth uh, to change and show the real Colombia soul of sharing and friendship without being judged by stereotypes uh, everybody knows here I can I don't need to say it but no but ask what they know 
okay, what what is the is the general stereotype of Colombia? Mm -hmm. What do you guys know about Colombia? Oh, Drugs. Okay, coffee, drugs. <laughs> a lot of drugs. <laughs> Guns, drugs. Guns. Okay, that's true because Russia, Russia uh, sells us drugs. Uh, sorry, sell us guns, you know? Russia is very good selling... Russia is good selling us uh, weaponry. So they sell us... They sell us uh, helicopters. They sell us... Um, machine guns or they sell several things to fight because Colombia has an internal war with one group which um, in general they they have been for 50 years trying to take the power of, of Colombia but the, mil the, the soldiers, the military and the other group they're always fighting so you know, war is business. So to maintain the business, you need to continue buying guns and buying. And this is how it's financial. First, from our pockets, normal uh, citizens, and also from, I guess, from from the drugs they also to get. It's normal. That's that's one thing they have. That in Colombia. Uh, people or women who don't have much more education if they are beautiful they want easy life mm -hmm. and one of the easy lives is you meet or you find one rich guy who is this person drug dealer or something and then she lives <laughs> like a prince she's like a princess she has and always travel to USA to buy something and always travel to USA <laughs> to buy something to because break. you have one friend um, okay I can talk about Adam. У нас есть один друг, он работает в американском посольстве в Колумбии, и он смеется он тоже над тем, что они уже многих девушек молодых знают в лицо, потому что они настолько часто делают визу в Америку, а и спрашиваешь, ну, как там молоденькая девочка, и, там, ну, виза в Америку там стоит 350 долларов, там, где-то примерно так, и они почему мотаются, постоянно спрашивают, ну, с какой целью вы туда едете, там, кто вам... Ну, то есть просто говорит, спрашивают, они говорят, ну как, нас спонсируют, у нас, ну, типа, как у нас, у нас, у нас говорит, есть крыша, как они говорят. И то есть они уже их реально знают в лицо, они говорят, что, ну, кру... а что, говорит, снова партию говорит, сдали, и вы, говорит, можете теперь ехать в Америку, ну, типа, что покупать себе на эти деньги, в общем, все, что душа угодно, да, поэтому к хорошей жизни они такой быстро привыкают. Это у них до сих пор это есть. Uh, okay, it teaches you to... Okay, salsa. Uh, salsa, <clears throat> you know, origi originally was was formed in Cuba, Cuba, but then it was growing in different countries, in Central America, in Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and then it, it went up to South America, and stayed in Colombia and Venezuela and other countries. So, in my in in my in one city, especially in Cali, and let's say, kindly I say, because I'm not, I'm not Caleño, which means I'm not from Cali. They dance the best salsa in they say in the world, and when I when I realized that they dance salsa the best of the world, is because in the past few years some Colombian dancers who are couples they go into competitions or or of world salsa competitions and they they have been winning this this championship or something so yes they they have really good schools to dance they they they, they dance very they're very fast and they they dance very emotional no not emotional but very vigorous and they are so expressive when when you dance I guess whenever you dance, if it's a competition, you always have to be smiling like mm -hmm. a like a queen. But okay, um, about music, maybe I can say the names, and you can Google it or you can YouTube it. But I to explain the music, it's gonna be tough for me. You know the dance, but the general genres we have in Colombia for music. As I said, it's salsa, merengue. We have uh, champeta, 
we have reggaeton, we have a uh, salsa choque, and other ones. I can continue the list, but to to see, I don't know how to. I would I if I explain each one, I prefer to do it in a video. Okay, mm -hmm. so I would, I would skip it. Sorry. What type of salsa do you dance there? Casino or in in Colombia? Mm -hmm. uh, Bugalú. Okay, Bugalú is a type of the salsa that is very fast. Uh -huh. Salsa is dance according to the rhythm. So if the drums are and the other instruments are going fast, then you move your feet faster, right? Mm -hmm. And then you you do the flips with the with the girl faster. Mm -hmm. If salsa is romantic, then you go with the paste and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay? So one one of the main characteristics of of the different types of salsa. Um sixth, be tolerant, uh, kind and geared to the person who really needs need help. Be tolerant. Uh, I guess people who have been living in big cities, or especially myself, Bogota is the center of all the country, right? So I I have learned that Bogota is not only for me because I need to share it with others who come from Peru, who comes from Ecuador, who comes from Venezuela, and they are all coming to Colombia or people who are from inside Colombia they come to Co Bogota who is the main capital and they start living there to develop their lives careers professions why tolerant uh, each region in Colombia have their own accent in Spanish and they have their own way of behaving um, example for people who lives in Bogota who were born there we're very introvert, let's say more silence, and we we are like um, <coughs> let people say that we are angry, but it's not like that. Is we're focused in in what you need to do. People who are from the coast, they are very joyful. They like partying. They 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 talk loud. Uh, other region. From people who are from Medellin, they they like talking too much or they like selling too much, and people who are from Cali, they they are very entrepreneurial. Same from Medellin. So all this mix of different types of regions and different types of backgrounds on different countries yeah. makes the city like is not only you who is living there, and sometimes you need to understand other people who are living there and you need to share it. It's like Moscow. You need to understand that Moscow is not only Russians who f from Moscow, but also people from other places. And you start sharing that. It's hard, but you need to do it to adapt. Why? Because you know that in 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 nature, the 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 people, okay, the species or the animals, even humans, who wants to last long is not the strongest one, but is the one who adapts easily. So you need to adapt easily to the changes. That's one of the main uh, outlines I can, I can say from that one. Um, and seven, to love nature and all the different people without discrimination. This is a welcoming open book and open entrance to my country. You can go and visit it. You can go and explore it, you can go and learn the same way I'm doing it right now in Russia and one of the, one of the things I am pursuing is that uh, show other people of my country and Latin Americans that Russia is different and I guess when I show this I'm showing that Colombia is different, right? So thank you very much for, for listening and for coming. Раз, два, три. Новосибирск! И давайте теперь Сибирь. Раз, два, три. Сибирь!